I'm going to show you exactly how to set up a Zendesk chatbot by yourself to automate your business. Encourage self-service to save time, increase customer satisfaction for customer loyalty, and increase your sales. We'll look at what's new, how to set it up, and customer experience best practices that you can only learn from a certified Zendesk admin, with a decade of experience and having also worked at Zanisk. Fasten your seatbelt so you don't fall behind with what's new. Our first topic is going to be the prep work. I'm going to assume you laid out your processes from a business need perspective. I'm going to also assume you have already created a brand for this. In the messaging feature, I'm going to assume you have already selected a channel for this, like social media or your web widget. Tell me in the comments if you want to see a video about how this is done. Think about Zendesk messaging as a hub for all your chat channels, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, X, and also the Zendesk widget. Now comes the part where we do the setup and what's new, and I'm going to share my screen. Follow along. Before we continue, please note that having an educational YouTube channel is difficult because you guys watch this video or other videos and then you go away and you come back for after a long time. So while we have you here, please like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's going to help us a lot and we'd be very grateful. If you find this useful, of course, onwards with the video. All right, we're going to go to admin center. We're going to go to channels. We're going to go to bots. In bots, we have two sections and one is conversation bot in the messaging. And this is what we're going to focus on. And we have here auto reply for email and web form. This is more of a legacy feature and we're not going to focus on this. Hit me up in the comments if you want a video about this as well. All right, so we go to manage bots. I have a bunch of bots here created, so I'm just going to go directly to create a bot. I'm going to have to give it a name and I'm going to call it The Bomb because I like this name. <laughs> the brand that I need to connect this with is going to be The Bomb. You select yours. I'm going to click next. The bot language, I can choose anything from Zendesk numerous languages. I'm just going to leave it to English for now. Now, a new thing from Zendesk is the bot persona. So I'm just going to apply this. So as you can see, it's powered by OpenAI. You can have three options here. You have professional, you have friendly, and you have playful. I'm going to have playful because that's my thing. I like it. I'm going to allow emojis and I'm going to choose a bunch of them that I want my bot to use. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm going to create bots. Now follow along because there's many surprises on this because I have a killer feature for you. I have setup, then I have intents and answers. Let's go through the setup and go and scroll along. We have start the conversation, send the greeting and suggest an answer. Hi there, got a question. I'm here to help. Yes, that's good. I'm going to choose generate variations. This is also a new feature from advanced bots and it's amazing. So answers, talk to a human, this is by default. I'm going to leave it as it is because I don't have anything else created. So I need to create some more answers. If the bot can't understand, ask the customer to provide more info or rephrase the question. Yes, I didn't get that. Generate variations for it, yes. If questions matches more than one intent, suggest matching intents. Yes, this is very good but this is also related for how well you have your bot defined. So let's leave it at that for now and also generate variations. If the bot can answer the question or answer wasn't helpful, this is actually very important because if the bot can't understand then it can suggest some related questions to whatever the customer is asking. And that could be very helpful because it might just show the customer what they need. And I'm going to go to intents. In intents, you see a list of bunch of intents that I have here suggested for me. I have not created these. These come by default. This is also a new feature from Zendesk. It also comes along with the advanced bots. Let's say I'm going to look for um, sending documentation. So this account has been set up for me with retail suggestions. I'm in a retail account right now, and this is how I've set up my test account. Yours can be from a different niche. It can be from finance, it can be from travel, or it can be retail. Zendesk has only a few of these laid out. 
and that's because it has the most experience and is feeling the most confident in showing you these suggestions. Now, what I can do for sending documentation and uh, I can choose an answer. I don't have one yet, so I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Now, the great thing about this intent and these suggestions is that it already categorizes them for me and it shows me the frequency with which they are used. And it's very good for me to see this in reporting and not necessarily just in reporting, but here as well. Now I'm going to move over to my next session, which is answers. As you can see, I only have one created, which is talk to a human. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create answer. This is actually why you guys are here. So let's do it. Create answer. And this is also new from Zendesk. It's not part of any add on or anything. This is you'll see this uh, in any account type. So you can see you already have some pre built answers. Now, this is part of the default account and it's great. Let's see if anything is relevant to what I want to create. I'm in a retail environment again. So let's see. I can build my own answer. I can talk to a human. I can reset password. Forgot ID. Get promo, locked out of account, cancel appointment, return policy, refund, schedule appointment, cancel order, order status. I'm just going to do reset password this time. I'm going to click next. All right, so it already created this for me and it's already pre-built and it looks great already. Let me walk you through. In the middle here, we're going to see the schematic of what's meant to happen. And on the right hand side, the intents for this. So. Think about your intents as what your customers are writing to you about. So make as many variations for this as you can, because everybody writes in a different way. How about train your bots and add another phrase? How about password change? Some people, some people want to change the password. How about I lock myself out of my account? I locked myself out of my account. Okay, now let's preview what we have. I can help you with resetting your password. Do you know your email address or login ID? Um, yes, I do. Now already you have a button created in here and you can follow along and see how to reset your password. So yes, this problem was resolved. Great, all good. Okay, great, perfect. Now I'm going to preview it again. And if I click no, then one of our agents can assist you. And this is the part where you assign this request to an agent and an agent can jump in and help the customer. Now I'm going to create a, another answer and I'm going to build my own. Where is my order? That's what I'm gonna call it. Then it's going to ask me, do you want to use uh, maybe related to these? Uh, do you need them? And I'm going to say, nope, I'm going to train the bot myself. Where is my order? Right, so I'm typing as if I were the customer. Where is my order? Order status. Okay, so let's go through the options available in here. So I have here send a message and I can send a message to the customer to have a conversation. I can present some options. I can give you A, B or C. I can show you help center articles in order to help them read more information. I can add a carousel of photos to say, do you want product A, product B or product C? And they can just uh, guide and you can just guide them based on the photo they choose. Now the carousel is a new addition and it's great. I can ask if the question is resolved, very powerful because you have to have an engagement with the customer and always ask for feedback. Ask for details is exactly as the name suggests, you ask the customer for more information so you can help them solve the request. We'll use it in just a bit. I can transfer them to an agent, which is a great one. Add business hour conditions. So if you're in the office, give them a message or you know put them in touch with an agent. If it's outside of business hours, then just uh, give them a message and tell them when the business hours are actually taking place. Branch by condition, this is a new one. And what it does is you can create some if then conditions and it's a great feature for you to make if then conditions and to make some logic in the bot. And you can make an API call. This is also part of the last release that I made a video on. 
Make an API call is part of the legacy features that I also made a video on a year ago or so. Okay, so let's create a friendly flow and I'm going to send a message first to the customer. I'm going to say, hi. Okay, looking for an order. We want to make sure. Make sure you have visibility. All right, then I'm going to add another step. I'm going to present some options. I'm going to ask the customer if they are registered with us or they may be bought through somebody else. Are you registered? Are you a registered user? And if they and I can say yes and the and in the options I can add two options which is either yes or no. Yes, and then add another option. No. Okay, good. Now if it's you can see these two have branched out and if they say yes, they are registered user. Um, I'm going to ask them for their order ID. Okay, so now in my fields, I'm going to ask for the client ID because they've registered with us. This is to give my agents more context. So now that I've asked for the customer ID, the client ID, I'm going to put them in touch with an agent. Transfer to agent. I am going to put you through to one of our, to one of my human colleagues. Now going back to our flow, if they are not registered with us, I'm just going to ask for the order number. Okay, so add step and then ask for details again. Let's look, ask for order number and I'm going to look for it in my fields again. I'm going to ask for the order ID. Now that I've asked for my order ID, I can put them in touch with an agent. One of my human colleagues can help you out. Done. Okay, so now I have my three answers ready. I am, I'm ready to publish my bot. It asks me where do you, I want this to appear. If I would have had more channels here, like any social media channels, I would see them as well. I'm going to publish it in the widget now. Publish going to also check to see if I have any errors, but I don't and they're all live. Okay. So now for the, some customer experience, best practices, cause I know I promised that number one is to make it obvious that this is a bot. Don't try to trick people into thinking that they're interacting with a human and then making them confused by what kind of robotic answers it gives back or it gets confused and it doesn't know what it's talking about. Another tip is to iterate, 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 and then iterate some more. You can't expect it to do everything from the very beginning. The only way it can do that is if you iterate and you make it good as you go along. Also make sure that you have somebody who is dedicated to this to, to update it constantly. What I mean by this is somebody who checks your tickets, one of your team leaders, one of your agents maybe, and they look through the keywords of what customers are asking for. Now, of course, you can do this with an integration with a third party system, but that's expensive. And I don't want you to spend more than you have to in the beginning. I want you to employ an add on like the advanced bot, which is integration with ChatGPT later on. Or you can get another integration from one of our partners like Ultimate AI or Ada. We are also famous for creating these bot flows. But these are all services that you can also do on your own, but not with less effort. Another customer experience best practice is to define repetitive flows. Look in your reports and see which tickets are being sold with one touch tickets. So one touch tickets means that a ticket has been resolved with just one answer. Identify those and see what kind of category they have and see if you can create articles in your knowledge base for these. After you've created an article in your knowledge base, you can maybe create some flows in the bot and tie them to your customer to see how they can self serve with these articles or with your bot that you train. And depending on what the customer asks, you can give them bits and snippets from that article, but you have to have an article in your knowledge base. Another tip is there is no shoe size fits all. Your business is different and it's particular, even if it's from the same niche. It always has its own particularities. So make sure you iterate and you update the bots according to your specific needs. 
The last bit in here is going to be us testing the bot. So let's go back to the share screening. All right, so it's here and I have my widget on the left-hand side and I put a message here, the bomb wants to help you. <laughs> I click it, start to interact with it. And I only have one intent available, talk to a human. That's because I did not make public any other answers that I have created. Let's test, uh, I need to change my password. Change password. Uh, you see the flow that we've created. I can help you with re resetting your password. Do you know your email address or login ID? Yes, I do. And here's my link and I can go follow along. Yes, the problem is solved, but actually, you know what? I need to see the status of my order. Let's look for order status. Let's see if it finds it. Okay, looking for an order. Are you a registered user or no? Yes, I'm a registered user. Give me your client ID. Uh, my ID is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Next. And what I can do with this client ID, I can of course link it to my backend with the bot to see if it knows this client. And if it does, it automatically shows what orders this customer has. And that saves a lot of time because the customer can then choose, okay, order one, two, or three. And that is amazing customer experience because it gives context to the agent and it makes everything more fun for the user. So this has been the video for this week. I hope you enjoyed. Running a YouTube channel in education is difficult because you guys come here and you watch the videos and then you just jump off and you don't come back again for a while. So while we have you here, please uh, like and subscribe so this content can get to more people. We'd be very grateful. So thank you so much.